Oh, hi everyone. I was just finishing up a Zoom meeting with some of our campus colleagues. Let me say goodbye. Bye everyone. See you next week. If you're like me, you've been doing a lot of Zooming the past few months. Did you know that our Zoom accounts are paid for by a grant from the California Community College Chancellor's Office? The grant that provides Zoom to us is called TechConnect, and it is managed by our colleagues at Palomar College. Zoom is a useful tool that has helped us slow the spread of COVID-19, but this spring, the number of users in the California Community College account skyrocketed, and that meant some service issues. To help provide better connectivity, college Zoom accounts are being moved from the statewide Zoom account to local accounts by district. In this short video, we'll walk you through three small changes you'll notice when using Zoom. They include logging into your Zoom account, meeting invites, and meeting archives. Let's talk about access to your Zoom accounts first. How will you log into your Zoom account now that you've moved to a district account? It's actually easy. You'll use the same login and password you've always used to log into Zoom. If you use the desktop app, simply log into your account with your email and password. If you've been logging in through ConferZoom.org, you can still use Confer as your portal. When you enter your email and password, you'll be redirected to the new FHDA portal. You won't even notice the difference. And you can still log in via zoom.us too. There's also one new streamlined way to log in, courtesy of our team at ETS. First, log into my portal. Second, select apps from your desktop. Third, scroll down to the tiles listed under staff and choose the Zoom app. You'll be dropped directly into your Zoom account. As easy as one, two, three. So if logging into your account hasn't changed, what has changed? It's actually pretty simple and pretty small. You have all of the same functions and features in your Zoom account, only now, instead of being part of cccconfer.zoom.us, your account is part of fhda-edu.zoom.us. Since all employees in the district are part of the same sub-account, we'll have heightened protection against Zoom bombers and other bad actors. The change in our Zoom meeting URLs, however, could cause some confusion when you log into a meeting from an Outlook invite or other Zoom invite. If the invitation was shared with you prior to August 24th, the URL in the invite still says cccconfer.zoom, not fhda-edu.zoom. When you join a meeting that was scheduled prior to August 24th, you may see the following message. No worries, select join, and you'll automatically be directed to the Zoom meeting. If you have already scheduled multiple meetings for the 2021 academic year, it may be a good time to update the Zoom URL, especially since Zoom will require either a passcode or waiting room on all meetings beginning in mid-September. Which brings us to our final point. In most cases, cccconfer.zoom URLs will automatically take you to your new FHDA-EDU Zoom account. The exception is links to meeting archives. If you have shared a link to a recorded meeting in Canvas or on a personal website, you'll need to update the URLs. To update the URL in your Canvas course or website, go to the page where your recording is displayed and edit the URL. Replace cccconfer with fhda-edu. The changes to our Zoom accounts will help ensure this important communication tool runs smoothly for us. If you have any questions, contact your campus online learning department.